We all know the note, um, the character is not likable. There is definitely a reason for that note. And, but the reason for um, you getting the note as a writer um, can vary. So, for example, it could be that your protagonist is not active. And the result of this character not being active could be that people do not fall in love with the character, do not really invest in his or her journey enough. That's due to the fact that this character doesn't make enough decisions based on, you know, th their inner struggle. And um, because usually characters try to avoid one thing. One thing they have been lying to themselves all the time, which is their, you know, their, their inner weakness, they're in a struggle, um, or as I might call it, the lie. Um, the lie that they have been living with and that they try to avoid. And you know, this, this concept of um, trying to avoid, to face the lie, often results in the character not being, um, or doing something or making decisions based on this lie or trying to avoid to face that lie that will result in, you know, avoidance. This means that the character will do, and this is active, try to avoid situations in which he or she has to face that lie. So if you get the note um, that the character is not active or not likable, it might be due to the fact that these situations don't occur enough or at all and people want to really see the struggle on screen and of course there are you know other ways to make a character more likable if um, that is the task um, there are a few tricks and I will let you in on them um, in a second but just a quick word before we get into that is sometimes it might be that um, even though you applied all these tricks I'm going to tell you, uh, the character is still not really likable at all. And the reason for that can also be that the character setup is too weak, meaning that you didn't take enough care of this uh, uh, when you set up the character. So, for example, if you missed out on, you know, the inner struggle, which is the most important aspect of, of a character or the inner dilemma, it, it will most likely, you know, this, this character will most likely fail. Um, so there's whatever you, you know, apply from the outside to that and the, you know, the tricks that I'm going to tell you, whatever you uh, do um, to, to make that character likable, it will still not feel real and the journey and the struggle will still not feel real. It will, you know, so, sometimes it will, you know, function uh, maybe well enough to, to fool someone but um, the, the journey itself will feel just, you know, flat. And that's, the reason for that is, is simply because you haven't taken enough time to an effort to, to set up the character properly. So take care of the inner struggle. And what is, what is you know, um, the question to ask in that matter is, um, what is the need of the character? What does this character need to be whole again, to be happy again, to live, you know, a fulfilling life. If you can answer that question properly, you're on the right track, I'd say. If not, you know, go back and try to figure out what that need is. Because the need will, you know, be the basis not only for the arc of the character, it will also be the basis for the theme of your movie so see that is that's how important the the inner struggle is um, the need of the character will definitely result 
in a lot of things that are tied closely to that. Um, okay, so now I let you on, in on you know a few tricks on how to make a character more likable instantly. So first of all, it is unjustly treatment. Unjust treatment can be, you know, betrayal. It can be unfairness. Um, someone being mistreated, um, or someone being blamed for something he didn't or she didn't do. The second one uh, is taking the fall. So if someone steps up and takes the fall for someone else or for for a cause that's really uh, dear. To him or her, that is definitely something that we connect to instantly. And another thing is um, admirable behavior. Admirable behavior is something that um, can, you know, show as being very skillful, or you know, being you know, there's there's this um, term. Of course, uh, I think you all heard it. By now, it's the save the cat moment. That's the admirable behavior. So if someone, you know, really steps in to save the day, that's definitely admirable behavior. And um, also, that is quite connected, connected to that, is, you know, showing a human side. So being, you know, ha having, you know, Loving something is showing human side. Um, taking care of someone is showing human side. That's why very often we see, you know, characters um, who are pretty young and struggling in their own life, you know, having to take care of, you know, elderly people, even, you know, their own father or mother. Um, so that's uh, showing a human side. And this is especially useful when uh, you're setting up a, a, a villain um, or an antagonist, that is. Because um, even antagonists do need something that I like to call a soft spot. Soft spot is definitely, you know, um, the human side. You bring out the human element, even though this character is, is, is purely evil and does horrible things. Even this character needs um, something uh, humane, um, and that's that's how you do it. So these are, like I said, you know, these are elements that could take care of, you know, the note um, your character is not likable. So that is, you know, but but like I said, it's very cosmetic. Um, you, if you have not taken care of the inner struggle of the character enough. Um, it's just cosmetic. Um, it will work, absolutely, um, but only to some degree. Yeah, um, I hope um, this helps you out um, a lot and gets you writing, which is um, all I want. Um, have a beautiful day, people.